Texas A&M takes on Abilene Christian. They are $76 million poorer in the 12th man. Jimbo got the word that his era was over while he was out deer hunting, I'm told. ESPN Plus noon Eastern time as the Aggies turn the page and try to figure it out again. Uh, Pete Thamel is back with us. So, Pete, what's the search look like for Texas A&M right now? Well, Jimbo is out deer hunting, Reese. Uh, Texas A&M is going to attempt to go big game hunting. The early tenor from that search is that A&M will likely not land a big name, $10 million a year coach. Think about a guy like Kalen DeBoer. It's going to be hard to pry him out of Washington right now as the Huskies are undefeated and obviously in the thicket of the CFP race. It's really difficult to supplant a coach running for a title. Here's a few names in tiers, Reese. Look for a solid Power 5 coach, somebody like Lane Kiffin, Chris Kleiman at Kansas State, Lance Leipold at Kansas, and obviously former Texas A&M defensive coordinator Mike Elko, who has resuscitated Duke during his time there. And then there's a local option, which is interesting. Jeff Trailer, the coach at UTSA, he's a former Texas high school coach. Could he rally the state and build A&M from within? Reese, nobody's won a, a league title at Texas A&M since 1998. Four coaches have tried. Could Trailer be the answer? Pete, the last coach to leave Texas A&M purely of his own volition was Paul Bear Bryant in 1958. They haven't won a national championship since 1939. They've got everything you could possibly want. They've got money, what? they've got facilities, what? they've got access to talent, and yet they are consistently mediocre and pretty much have been for almost a century. Who's the fixer there? Well, that's the thing. Like, getting to learn about why and how from all of you guys who know the program a lot better than me has been fascinating. They have a never-ending supply of money over there. They're willing to pay whatever to get whoever, but for whatever reason, they haven't been able to win. I threw out a name like, wait, why not Rich Rodriguez? Okay, he's at Jacksonville State, would love to make another run in a Power 5 school. You give him a bank to also recruit and get down there, maybe he'll tear it up. You guys said that doesn't seem to be reasonable, so then the next logical response would be Mike Elko. Imagine what he was able to do at Duke this year with his Ivy League brain, big head, football guy. <laughs> he knows the area because he was a DC down there. That feels like a pretty good answer to me, but I don't know this business as well as you for sure. Kirk. That was the first thing he said to Mike Elko when we were at Duke. He <laughs> shook his hand and said, good to see you. Big head. Huge. Huge. <laughs> huge. Big brain, big head. He'd, huge. He'd be great anywhere yeah, yeah. Uh, as a head coach. He was a defensive coordinator there. Uh, you know, Jeff Trailer makes a lot of sense at UTSA. Great high school coach in the state of Texas. Knows the state inside and out. It's a critical hire with everything that's going on within that state. Texas moving into the SEC, a part of now Texas A&M's world even more when it comes to recruiting. I just think they need a ball coach. They, they, they don't need a personality. They don't need to win a press conference. They need a ball coach that comes in, gets into the film room, recruits, builds a culture, kind of boring, and just builds it up slowly but surely yeah. and sustains yeah. excellence. I don't know who that is, but that's what they need. You guys know I'm done with the Aggies, right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just out. through you them. Texas A&M. Left them last year, picked them to win the championship. They're going to go all the way, right? Yep. Let me down. They went out and got Bobby Petrino. I said, okay, they'll be the bounce back team of 2023. Uh, got the coach out, they give them $70 million to leave. I'm done with that. I don't give a damn who they get. I, <laughs> I wouldn't pick them to win their own spring game. <laughs> damn. Yeah. When, when, I, when you hear the number 76, the words of the great Ed Ogeron come to mind when he was given the buyout. Yeah. When do you want me to leave? Which door do you want me to use? <laughs> 70, 70, 76 million. million dollars to leave. Yeah. Yeah.